Hey everybody, it's OG. This is another gear review. And as you see here, it is for the Razer Death Adder Transformers 3 mouse. And it's in the red Optimus Prime color. You can see that when it's plugged in, the Autobots symbol goes light to dark, off and on. And if uh, the Autobots uh, colors are Red for Optimus Prime, yellow for Bumblebee. The Decepticons color colors are uh, purple for Shockwave and gray silver type deal for Megatron. Anyways, been using this mouse for a while, so got a good amount to say about it. And uh, let's start with what I like about the Razor Death Adder Transformers 4, not 3 mouse, 4. Uh, if they make a fourth one, I'll kill Michael Bay. Let's begin! So, what I like about it... First off, it looks cool. I mean, look at it. It's uh, It's got a great color finish, especially if you like Optimus Prime, which I do. The yellow one also looks very nice. So, uh, if you're a fan of Bumblebee, these are that's another color to look for. But yeah, it looks great. It looks uh, nice and polished. It's got that glossy finish. It, it looks awesome. And you gotta love that the fact that that's gonna keep on glowing. Ooh. So it looks great. So for those that really like their mouse to be stylish, you want to try this. Also, it works great. Yeah, uh, when playing a few first-person shooters. Worked fine, very precise, uses the laser uh, 3000 DPI, very, very, uh, you can get those headshots uh, pretty well. So you're not losing any performance by choosing style. You still get that same razor performance in a mouse, and yeah, it looks good. So with that, I mean, those are really the two main things. But those are pretty important things. It looks good and performs well. But I do have a few negatives about it. So let's talk about what I didn't like about it. Okay, so what I didn't like. Well, I mentioned that the glossy finish. While it is nice, uh, it, well, it, it, uh, after a while, that little gloss, I don't know if you can see it here, it's kind of hard to tell. It it doesn't, it makes the the controller look kind of bland. It, it's um, hard to really explain it, but when it's really glossy, you know when it stops being glossy. Unlike the matte uh, mice that you see a lot more, when it's glossy like this, once it stops being glossy, it doesn't look as good. So... Yes, it's stylish. Yes, it's colorful. Yes, it's glossy. But what do you really start sweating over this? Because you're going to, if you're playing a lot of games for it, using it all the time. Yeah, the glossiness, it kind of looks a little ick. So you got to clean it every now and then. Which, I mean, everybody should, and I don't doubt that. But it's going to lose It's gonna lose a little bit of the finish. So something to think about. Is it a big negative? By all means, no. It is something, though, that I recognize after a while, using it, especially after after the time that I've had it. Uh, second problem I have, uh, these customized buttons right here. You know, when uh, in a game, these can prove to be pretty useful. Uh, allows you to change weapons around a different way. You know, you can customize these to whatever you want. Great during game. Problem when you're using the mouse to browse the web. Because, hey, I got a big hand, okay? I mean, look at my hand. Look at my hand right there, and that thumb goes perfectly right there, and I'm hitting these all the time. So when I'm browsing my website, virtual-gamer.com, or other websites, but mainly virtual-gamer.com, I hit these buttons, and I end up going back a page. Going back a page. It gets a little annoying. E everything else is fine. I mean, everything else functions right, but... These here, I'm just not a big fan of these buttons. And especially since they do. I, I know you could deactivate them. It's still, though, something to think about. Again, something I don't like, but not a big deal breaker. So those are the negatives. We talked over the positives. Let's see what the final verdict is.
The Razer Death Adder Transformers 3 mouse is a great mouse. It's an expensive mouse. You're looking about $40 to $50 depending on where you pick it up. Is it worth it? Yes. It's stylish. Works great. A uh, couple of problems here and there regarding the buttons and the glossiness. But it's still a great mouse. Nothing really wrong with it. Uh, a couple little tweaks I would have liked to see. In the end, stylish performance. All for about 40 to 50 bucks. And a definite must-have for Transformers fans. If you feel like having the power of the Transformers in your hand, you should probably pick this up. Keep that in mind when you're watching a Transformers movie, because I'm not. I hate the series. Love the cartoon, hate the series, hate Michael Bay. But that's another rant for another time, and we won't go there. So, again, I am the Bridger Gamer OG, and talk to you later.